My grandfather put up the first roller coaster here in about 1904, and ever since we've had roller coasters, and we've just built new ones one after the other. And it's been almost our trademark, actually, in a way. And gradually, we've become uh, Europe's home of roller coasters. We have more wooden roller coasters here than any other park, I think, almost in the world, except one park in America. And our total number of roller coasters, which is 11, is the biggest number for any amusement park anywhere in the world. Roller coasters I've enjoyed all my life from about the age of seven. That was my first experience of a real roller coaster. I always was very fond of the Big Dipper, and that was quite the biggest thing of that time. When my father opened the Big Dipper, he charged a shilling to ride. The local people were absolutely aghast. He said, a shilling to ride a, a coast? Why, you said, you're only on about a minute or so. And he said, yes, I know it was expensive, of course, but then it cost a lot of money to build. But he said, for that, I'm giving them a mahogany pay desk and a terrazzo entrance floor, and he did. <laughs> I think one of the most exciting things we di did was to, when my husband was alive, and he organized the Grand National, which is a racing coaster, and there aren't many of those today. People really do find that exciting because not only they're going on a, a normal roller coaster, but they're racing or the train on a parallel track. So most parties divide in two: half in a red car, half in a green car. Got to pick better on and see who wins. 